My name is Anne MacDonald and I run Scotland Study Centre in Edinburgh. I would like to tell you about the secret symbolism used by the Jacobites after their defeat in the Battle of Culloden in 1746. This secret symbolism was necessary due to the terrible repression of the Jacobites by the British government. I hope you find the video of interest. Thank you. Jacobite means follower of James. That is James VIII of Scotland, who became James III of England. He was the father of Bonnie Prince Charlie. Charlie's real name was Charles Edward Stuart, and he lived in exile in France with his father, James VIII. The Stuarts wanted to reclaim the throne of Scotland, and in 1745, Charles Edward Stuart came to Scotland and started the Jacobite Uprising. For some time, the uprising went well. The Jacobites won battles and they almost took London. However, the uprising eventually ended in defeat at the Battle of Culloden in 1746. The Battle of Culloden was a terrible defeat for the Jacobites. Not only were between 1,500 and 2,000 Jacobites killed in the battle itself, but after Culloden, the slaughter continued. The British government troops killed the wounded and dying Jacobites as they lay in the field, and they followed them up the road to Inverness killing the men, women and children they found on the way. And they also went into the villages, again, killing everyone they thought could be a Jacobite. The British government also made it a crime to support the Jacobites and it was punishable by death, by hanging. These were very dangerous times and to protect themselves, the Jacobites developed special secret symbols. These symbols were so that they could recognize each other and also to keep their cause alive. One such symbol was the Jacobite glass. There was a flaw in the manufacturing of the glass and a small tear shape appeared. The Jacobites used this tear as a symbol for their sadness that a Stuart was not on the throne of Scotland. Traquair House in the Scottish borders has a long association with the Jacobites and they have a collection of Jacobite glasses. They would drink to the King and everybody would think you'd be, it'd be William, William of Orange at the time, but you weren't. You were drinking, this represents James, he'd be James the seventh of Scotland. He was the one, he was the old pretender, the one in exile. This one. Is that a rose or what kind of flower? It's a rose, it's yeah. a Scottish, it, the symbol of the Jacobites was a very small white rose. Mm -hmm. This one then is Bonnie Prince Charlie, you'll know about Bonnie Prince Charlie, that was his son. So he's in waiting. And Bonnie Prince Charlie had a brother, Henry, he renounced the throne, he went into the church. And he went very far in the cardinal. Or, yes, yeah. he was. That's yeah. right. Um, so, if they drank to the king, they were actually drinking to the Jameses. And that's that, that's what that was all about. And this one here, again, you can see same idea. The king, the crowns are above. And then, if you turn it around, this represents William of Orange, and they've got him as the devil. <laughs> so they actually were drinking to the kings uh -huh. and sending the devil to hell. Mm -hmm. So that's what that was all about. Okay. So yeah, that's, yeah, there are symbols and that's what it was all about. Secret symbolism was also in the Jacobite drinking toast. The Gaelic drinking toast is Schlange Va. Va means great in Gaelic. So Schlange Va means great health. The Jacobite toast is Schlange Vor. Vor means big, so big health, but it's also a woman's name. It's the adult 
form of the child's name, Morag. This is a secret Jacobite symbol and it refers to Bonnie Pin Prince Charlie when he escaped from the Battle of Culloden in 1746 dressed as a woman. Flora MacDonald rode Charlie across the sea to Skye dressed as her maid and people refer to him as the big woman or Vaux. This is a kind of Jacobite joke. At Scotland Study Centre, we recently had a Jacobite toast. Okay, so it's a, a Jacobite toast. One, two, three. <laughs> so this is Slangevo from me and McDonald at Scotland Study Centre, English Language and Culture Centre in Edinburgh, Scotland.